How's it going everyone? In this video, we are gonna talk about uh, going up and down the dom, looking for children, looking for grandchildren, and looking for parents and ancestors. And what we're starting off with here is a wrapper div. It has a class of container. And inside this div, we have three smaller divs. They all have a class of article. And then each div with a class of article has a paragraph inside of it. And we also have some base styles that we're starting off with. Um, we have a class of warning and that gets the color of red and OK gets the color of green and sunny gets the color of orange. So um, basically what we're going to do first is I'm going to uncomment this first line here and you'll see what I'm doing is I'm selecting anything that has a class of container. Um, in our case, we are only selecting this one div here and then we're doing dot children. And what that is going to do is it's going to select all of its children and it's going to add them a class of warning. So let's just refresh here and you'll see that all of those have gone red. Um, if I inspect in Chrome here, if this ever opens, um, we can look at uh, our markup right here. And let's open up this div with a class of container. And you'll see all of those um, child divs now, they have um, added a class of warning. So because all of these divs have a class of warning right now, um, basically that style is going to trickle down into these p tags and they are going to get a color of red which is uh, defined right here. So let's go down to the next one now and we are selecting that div with the class of container again and this time we're using find and we're passing in a p and what this is going to do is it is going to look for all of the descendants not only direct children but look at look for all descendants um, that are that are p tag that are a paragraph and then once it finds them, it's going to add a class of OK. So let's just refresh right here. And you'll see all of those have got changed to green. Now, we didn't remove that class of warning. You can see that it's still there. But if we open this up, we'll see P now has a class of OK. So that is a more specific um, selector. So article was supposed to be red and OK was supposed to be green. Um, because that OK is right on the paragraph tag, um, is more specific class and they're all going to become green. So let's go on to the next one and we are um, starting off the same way, selecting the container, looking for all the paragraphs, but this time we're using EQ1. And what EQ1 is going to do is it's going to select the second paragraph. So EQ is zero based. Um, if I make this a zero right here, we're going to remove that class of OK. And you'll see that one's red now, and the reason it's red is because the um, div has a class of warning, but that P doesn't have the class of OK again. So um, I'm actually just going to make this one here, and that's going to select the second one. So you can see that using EQ is very similar to using nth child. Um, maybe the reason it's uh, a bit more useful is because it's a lot shorter to write. Um, it's just easier to type than nth child. Um, so if ever you just want to select the second one or the seventh one or anything like that, um, you can always resort to EQ and you can quickly select um, an element like that. In the next example, we are using a comma in our selector. And what we're doing is here, here is we're looking for everything on the page that has a class of container and that has a child element of div. Actually, not a child element. This is should be a descendant element. So no matter where it is, if it's a direct child, if it's a grandchild, if it's a great grandchild, um, the, because we just have a space here, we don't have the um, greater sign. That's just going to select any descendant divs um, coming from the class of container. And then we have a comma because we're going to select a second thing here. And we're looking for um, any p tags that are um, nested somewhere within a uh, class of container. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the attribute of class right here. So before we use remove class, but now I'm going to remove that class attribute altogether. And let's refresh here. And you'll see that everything has gone back to black now. If I open up these little divs here, um, you'll see um, all of the P's had their um, class attribute removed. Those divs was removed as well. So we're um, back uh, to all black text right now. The next example that I want to talk about is a little bit more complicated, but if you can follow along here, I think you'll have a really good understanding of how you can move up and down the DOM and do more trickier selections. So let's just attack this line by line here. Um, what we're doing is we're selecting all p tags 
that were descendants of a class of container. And then we are using first right here. And then we're adding a class of a warning. Um, maybe we can just uh, comment out these uh, second and third ones here. And I believe that will do automatic semicolon insertion right here. So let's just see what that does right here. And you'll see that um, what it did was it found that P, it found the first one, and it added a class of warning. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to uncomment the second line. And what we're actually doing here is we're um, chaining on all of this stuff. All this stuff is actually being chained. But I'm just going to push it down to the next line here um, just so that it's a bit more legible. So what we're doing um, after that is um, what you have to remember here is right now we are um, stuck on the very first one. So this is what we have selected right here. We selected all the P's, but then we selected the first. So basically where we are you know, located in the DOM right now is on that very first paragraph. So, But what I want to do now is I want to do something to the other paragraph tags. So the way I go about that is I'm going to use dot closest. And what dot closest is going to do is it's going to go up from that um, first P tag and it's going to go up the DOM tree looking for the closest element that has a class of container. And once it finds it, then it's going to stop. So um, you can see we're actually um, right here. We're on this P tag. And then it's going to go up the DOM tree to its parent. And then it's going to go up to its grandparent. And it's going to see that its grandparent has a class of container. And it's going to stop right there. And it's uh, found what it's wanted to there. Now after that, we are using find P. So what find P is going to do is it's going to go back down the DOM tree now. And it's going to look for a paragraph and of EQ1. So um, you can see we went up from this P tag. And then we went up to the class of container. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back down now into the P's. And because we have EQ1, that is going to be um, the uh, second paragraph, okay? Because those P's are zero indexed. EQ1 is going to be the second paragraph now. And then we're going to add a class of OK there. So, or sorry, we're adding a class of Sunny this time. So if we refresh here, we should see that second one become orange. So if you had any trouble understanding that, just look at it again closely. And you'll see all that we're doing is we're just going up and down the DOM tree, um, just uh, selecting the stuff that we're looking for. Um, let's go on to the next one. And so remember where we are right now is we are on this second paragraph right now. And we just gave it a class of uh, Sunny. So what we're doing after that is we're going to do dot parent, which is going to go up to the direct parent, which is that um, the containing div with a class of article. And then we're going to go up to the parent after that, which is the um, one with the class of container. So if we look here in Chrome Inspector, we are on the P of a class of warning. And we went up to the parent. And that was the uh, div tag that's holding the P. And then we did parent again, which is giving us the div with a class of container. Um, that These can get really long. So um, I think dot closest is going to be um, a lot better than using dot parent, dot parent. Hopefully you're not using like three dot parents or more than that. Um, but I just wanted to show you this because um, you'll run into it from time to time. So dot parent, dot parent, that is going to select the grandparent, which is um, the div with a class of container. And then we're going to go back down again. So find and then p colon last, that is going to look for the last paragraph that's inside the um, div of the class of container. And it's going to add a class of OK. So if I refresh here, we should see um, the last paragraph uh, go to green. So as I mentioned, um, I think using closest is going to be a lot better than using these parents. Um, but I wanted to show you that anyways, um, just so if you if you did run into a case where you wanted to select um, the direct parent, then using dot parent is definitely going to be the best um, in that situation. A couple other things that I want to mention, even though I don't have examples for them in this video, is there's also dot parents. And what dot parents is going to select is, for example, if we were starting with the p tag and we did parents and we did, let's say we did a class of container. Let's just copy this here and I'll paste that in there. So we're looking for parents with a class of container. So um, what it's going to do is it's going to traverse from this P up to the div with a class of container. And it's going to select that. But unlike closest, it's not going to stop here. It's going to keep going up the DOM tree into the, you know, into the uh, body tag here. It's going to look to see if that has um, a class of container. It's going to look if the H HTML tag does. 
So I don't know when that's going to be useful, but um, the difference with parents is that it's just going to keep going up um, without stopping and it's going to look for everything with the um, class of container. And if it finds it, then it's going to add it to the jQuery result set. So in a way, um, dot parents is the exact opposite of dot find, which is going to you know go recursively down um, the DOM tree. So if we do container, and then we do find with the class of p, um, that is going to just keep looking down uh, for all the p tags and never stopping. Um, the next one that I want to mention, a uh, dot closest, we talked about that already. And then the last one is parents until. So um, parents until is a, a little bit interesting and it might be useful sometimes. Um, I just have it open here on jQuery's documentation. And we can see that um, parents until gets the ancestors of each element in the current set of uh, match elements up to but not including the element matched by the selector. So if, for example, if we were um, inside our p tag here, and then we did parents until, and then we passed it um, container here, okay, if we passed it that, then what it's going to do, it's going to go up until it reaches the container, but not including this one. So basically, um, it's probably going to, well, I think it's just going to look at div with the class of article, because that's a parent, and then it's not including this one with the class of container.